Earlier tonight on News Channel 9, we honored Rod Wood and his 50 plus years in broadcasting in central New York. Rod has achieved many honors over the years, and the latest came this afternoon on the floor of the House of Representatives. Syracuse Area Congressman John Katko recognizing Rod's long service to central New York. Mr. Speaker, I rise today to honor the distinguished career of central New York broadcasting legend Roderick Woodruff Grote and to celebrate his retirement after more than 50 years on television in our community. Better known as Rod Wood, he is a household name in central New York and trusted source of news throughout our region. For five decades, he has been there to deliver the news to families throughout our community. Before beginning his career in broadcasting, Rod proudly served in the U.S. Army uh, with the 504th Military Police Battalion. In 1976, he, became, uh, news, he worked on News Channel 9 and has been a fixture at the station ever since. Outside of work, Rod is extremely devoted to his family. He stood in support of his wife, Nanette, through her nine-year battle with cancer and celebrated 52 years of marriage before her passing earlier this year. Together, Rod and Nanette raised five children and were blessed with 10 grandchildren. The Dean of Central New York Broadcasting, our community will truly miss welcoming Rod Wood into our communities and our homes every evening. Madam Speaker, excuse me, Mr. Speaker, I ask that my colleagues in the House join me in honoring Rod Wood for a remarkable 50-year career in journalism. I wish him all the best in his retirement. And with that, I yield back. And that's a wrap. After 44 years here at News Channel 9 and 57 in broadcasting, our good friend and colleague Rod is now officially retired. But we made sure to send him off in style. Tonight, a look at his career and some special surprises for our Roddy. 57 years on the radio and TV. One of the most familiar faces in his hometown. He's the man you've turned to for the news night after night. Our good friend David Muir sums it up best. You know, the word legend gets tossed around an awful lot these days, but there really are few who truly live up to its meaning. And Rod Wood, there's no question you are a Syracuse legend. As Rod winds down a long and distinguished career, we got lots of celebrity help in our celebration of his life and work. My last year working there after school was in 1991. And for the last 29 years, it was so comforting to come back, whether you're sitting next to Carrie or Christy, just to see you still on the air, as smooth, as comfortable as ever. You became the anchor in Syracuse, New York. And you know what I remember most about that? When you finally got on TV, you started wearing pants. Good for you, Rod. And now you're retiring, you can take your pants off. He's known generations of leaders in central New York on the local, state, and federal levels. They put their trust in him to deliver important information, sometimes critically important, to our viewers across the region. He is an institution here in Syracuse, and, and we're very lucky to have him. And Rod has been there uh, for years as, as a steady hand. Uh, and we owe a lot of gratitude, a debt of gratitude to Rod for that. In recognition of his long service and career to Central New York, the mayor and county executive have declared November 18th as Rod Wood Day in the city and the county. The OCC Board of Trustees met and voted to award Rod an honorary degree. And one more parting gift, so fitting for the heart and soul of our newsroom. He's been the pinnacle for this place for over 40 years, and I think he's touched Everybody's life has come through this building in the, in the last four plus decades. He, he's just, he is the essence of News Channel 9. And from now on, everyone who enters our newsroom will be walking into the Rod Wood Newsroom with our thanks and much love. Rod, on behalf of producer Grant DeBruin, the entire Nightside 11 at 11 team, we miss you, but we wish you the best in your retirement. For me, it's been such a true honor to work with you all these years, sit next to you right here on the anchor desk. I'm so grateful for your kindness, your generosity, and I promise we will continue to get the facts right, get it right for our viewers. If you missed our special send off for Rod, you can watch it in its entirety at localsyr.com. It's right on the homepage.